Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I am doing your 10 days reading starting from the 10th of April 2018 towards the 20th April 2018 and this is going to be for the sign of uh, Gemini. I have already laid out the cards so let's see what's going on for um, wow, for Gemini's. Uh, you got 2 of cups, Queen of Pentacles and then the 10 of Pentacles. Wow, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your love life. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, it seems amazing. Okay, I do feel like you know if you are dealing with somebody and you had some money issues in the um in this relationship, I do feel like you are resolving that issue which was connected to money somehow, and then once you are having that um uh once you have dealt with that particular issue, n now you would be in a situation where you could. Uh, you know, um, where you could, you know, uh, reach out to this person and tell them how, how you feel about them. Because it's it seems like, um, it seems like maybe, you know, either one of you, or maybe both of you, but either one of you is financially very, you know, rich and stable and, um, and maybe, maybe, you know, you you might have not been, you know, reaching out to this person thinking that, you know, you you don't match their standard or you don't match their level of uh, living. So that's why you were holding on to your feelings. But I do feel like, you know, this uh, in these 10 days, you're going to since, you know, the reading starts from the 10th of April and today is 13th. So maybe you have already approached to them and maybe you have already shared your, uh, you know, your feelings towards them and I feel like you know um, they might you know give you the gift uh, out of uh, out of pure love which is something very expensive and that's that's just the way they have uh, they you know they express their love towards you and I do feel like with the Queen of Pentacles it's like you know the coin in the, the pentacle in, in this lady's hand I feel like it's a very expensive it's a very um, uh, very precious gift that you have received from the other person and it seems like um, you feel, I don't know I, I feel like you would feel that um, the energy that I'm picking up is like you know maybe because since the other person is too uh, too rich and you know the other person uh, you know is like um, uh, since it's a general reading, it may, uh, you know, apply either ways. Like, you know, it may be you or it may be the person that you're dealing with. So, you know, um, I do feel like, you know, the person uh, who is on the receiving end of the gift might feel that, you know, uh, I, it may seem to this person that, you know, it's too, um, too good to be true. And maybe that is one thing they are, you know, uh, they will be. Um, taking time to consider or taking they will take their own time to make that make up their mind that they are or they should accept this um, gift or not because I do feel like you know you don't um, you don't want other person to take you for granted in future even though they love you now and even though even though everything is all good between the two of you and um, you are ready for the commitment but Deep down inside, I feel like you are, you know, at times, the person who is receiving the gift is feeling, um, um, I would say they feel a little uncomfortable. It's like, it's more like, you know, they feel uh, when they are alone, they feel like, you know, is everything going good enough? Because, you know, you may, you may feel like maybe it's a bit too, um, um, on a, on a, you know, um, on a surface level, it may seem uh, also very good, also very positive, also very lovey-dovey. But you you doubt that, you know, that goodness in your life. Because maybe because you have never been uh, so happy like this before. And maybe you have uh, insecurities when you come, when it comes to your, um, when you think of your past. Maybe you have some insecurities. But uh, I would suggest you don't go there because it's like, the, the proposal that you are receiving, the person that you are having in your life right now is um, is, is not being um, playful here. He's not, you know, um, playing with your heart. He's not, he or she is not playing with your heart. They are not playing with your emotions. 
you mean the world to them and that's the the gift that you receive from them is just a token of love they they don't um they don't want to make you feel um low or they don't want to make you feel uh they will never think like you are thinking of it right now because they are doing things from another level of love it's like you know they you mean everything to them and it's out of that love that pure love they are doing everything to please you to show you how much they care for you how much they love you and that's why they are treating you like a queen or a king and that's why they want to um they, they cannot think less uh they cannot think of something less than you being treated like a princess or a queen or a or or, or somebody very you know royal or something it's it's out of their love that they are doing all these things so don't um um uh, be confident be confident and know that you deserve this love and you deserve this uh, happiness that this person is bringing in your life so um enjoy this moment with this person and enjoy your uh, togetherness and uh i do feel like uh, since you have a reconciliation over here someone from your past is returning to your love life maybe it's somebody that you knew uh before and it's it's like you know um maybe you always had maybe they were somebody very close to you i would not consider the reconciliation here as a um as as you were in a relationship with this person before but i do feel like you know this person uh this person since quite some time now and i do feel like maybe they are your best friends uh, uh may uh, maybe you know you know each other uh, through family friends or somebody you know um uh, for quite some time now and they know everything about you and i do feel like you know you are um uh, you are holding yourself back and you don't want um I'm not holding yourself back just that you you are just you know confused because you feel like this proposal or this person is too good to be true for you and it's like you are thinking low of yourself don't do that you deserve this love you deserve this person in your life you deserve the happiness and abundance of love prosperity and everything that person uh, that this person is bringing in your life so um just you know open your arms and receive the abundance of love and everything in your life with open arms and with positive mindset don't um don't think about uh the past just you know go with it and that person truly loves you because i feel like you know if it might be the case that you know one of the two might have you know uh approach the other person you, you know if you are uh on the receiving end maybe you have uh, received the proposal earlier too but there was some issue that um that you know you you both couldn't you know do um uh, you both couldn't you know move ahead with this relationship and you never had a relationship but i do, but i do feel like you know the person might have you know shown uh, their interest towards you but uh you were not in a situation or they were not in a situation where they could you know seriously um uh go for it maybe because they were not financially stable that time but now they are maybe uh there were some other issues involved uh but now there are no certain issues and they feel like you know they are um prosperous enough that they could you know um approach to you with all their love and uh, they can you know uh, have a family with you and i do feel like the person that you are dealing uh, with is not uh, flirting with you uh, this person loves you truly madly and deeply and you are going to have a very 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 successful married life if you you know choose this person because this person is going to bring you lots of happiness um and i'm sure that this person is from your past but like i said it's not somebody you have uh, dated it's not somebody you have uh, uh had a relationship with it is somebody you know but you never had a relationship with they might have you know proposed you earlier but there was nothing in between as in between you two as such so yeah now is the time that you accept this proposal and go for it and trust that this person is the one for you and you both are made for each other because they know you very well and they respect you for who you are and they will do anything and everything to prove their love to you so i hope you have a wonderful beautiful month ahead 
I, and I will see you in the next 20, uh, 10 days starting from the 20th till the 30th April 2018 and um, till that time uh, you take care of yourself do like subscribe and share if you like the reading and if it resonated with you take care bye bye